working on some things that I have here laying around and different items that I got at the thrift store and some of the things maybe that uh, Lauren's brought in. I'm not for sure, but right now I'm going to start with these spindles. I got, I did get these at the thrift store and this one here looked like these and I didn't care for the green. I don't care for the green and I don't like this red cast on this wood. So I sanded this one down. That's as far as I've got with it. Well, I did put a coat of the antiquing wax on this. It's a, it took away the red. And the tops, I'm not sure. I'm thinking I might paint them black and put antiquing wax on them. And then again, I was thinking, well, I would get the uh, silver metallic out and kind of make it look like a metal. I'm not really sure yet, but I, I think to start with, I'm going to go black and see if I like that. All right, here it is painted black with a coat of antiquing wax over the black. You really can't tell much. And if I try to distress it, some of that green starts coming through. Because I did sand this one down pretty good, but... So, I'm going to this, and I went, took it out. You can see the difference. I sanded. Whoa. This is what it looked like to start with, and I sanded the red off, and here's with the antiquing wax. So, I'm going to put a coat of antiquing wax on here, and then I'm going to put a, a light gray on here, and then I'm going to get my uh, metallic silver paint. I'll let you know what it is when I do it, and... I'm going to try to make this look like metal and see which one. If I don't like what it turns out to look like, then I can always go over it with the black and have it look that way. But you can see right in here, I did go ahead and earlier and put some cinnamon and Mod Podge to make that look rusty. But that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to work on this one for a little bit now. Okay, I did the second one with, uh, first coat I put on it was the Pavement color by a Apple Barrel. It's just kind of a dark gray, bluish gray. And then I just took a sponge and pounced on the Sterling Silver Metallic by Folk Art. But truthfully, I think I'm just going to go over it with the black because I like the look of the black myself and I did on this bottom piece here put went over it with the uh, folk art metallic on this to kind of make it look like metal so I'll just do that with the top and I think I'm just gonna go over this one with the black and the black metallic okay for my candle holders I am going, I bought these off of Amazon. Hang on a second. There was 12 in a box. And they're lights or candles. And I have several projects I want to use them on. And I've already given one, one coat of ground cinnamon and Mod Podge. And I'm going to give it the second coat. And I also, I don't need that big of a brush use this one um i think i'm going to go over it with a light coat on the top here too because i just don't like that bold white when they're sitting by themselves so i'm going to go over it just a little bit but i'm going to put a co another coat of mod podge on here and cinnamon They don't look very pretty, just, I don't like them anyway. I'll show you one here in just a minute. I didn't take one out of the box. Show you what it looked like before the cinnamon. Got all the creases and everything. Okay, gotta hurry before it starts drying. hope I'm in frame. Well, 
looks all coated. Knock it off. Now I'm going to leave that to dry. Set that aside. I'll show you the uh, wipes without the cinnamon on them. They come box like this. Okay. There it is. I mean, it's all right if that's the look you're going for, but with these candle holders and the things I'm going to be making, I don't really care for it. And I did take on, on this one over here. I don't want to pick it up because it's wet, but I did take some more glue. I, I turned on my glue gun, and I did make a few more of the uh, wax strips because, as you can see, these weren't that thick and there wasn't that many of them so I made a few more on there looks like I should have done more really but see a little thicker spots where it shows up a little better okay well I'm gonna let this dry and I'm gonna give the bulb part of it a very light coat so it's not just plain white but I gotta let this dry and I'll be back. All right, here is the candle with the uh, top. Like I said, I put a very light coat on there and I let it dry and then I, I brushed off the extra cinnamon and it's a very light coat. Let me turn it on and show you what it looks like. Okay, there's what it looks like while it's on. You can still see the light it's just not that bright white just fits better i think and here are the let's get this down here i wanted to show you the difference i went with the black and put the metallic black over it and i just like that way better than that green i just did not care for that green at all but I'm still not finished. I'm gonna do another, I need two candles done. So I'm gonna do another candle and doing some, probably some kind of embellishment on them. I'm gonna have to give it some thought, but I'll show you. Well, I'm getting ready to do this candle and I thought I would just uh, show you a little bit of me putting the the glue on the candle itself. It's not okay. We start right here with this one. I got a little more on this one than I did the other one. Made them a little longer, but that's okay. They don't all drip the same. There. And if I don't like it, I can peel it off and redo it. All right, I have them finished as far as being painted and the candles finished. And there's what it looked like before. Let me pull that up here. The green. And I just did not like that. But now I'm gonna start decorating. I pulled out a few things I'm gonna use. I might use more, but I'm gonna get started on that. And when I figure out what I'm gonna do and, and I'm finished, I'm gonna bring you back and show you what they look like okay I think this is gonna be what I'm gonna use this and some of the pip berry I tried to try to tie the raffia in with the bow it didn't look good it didn't look good without it it needed a little more stuff so I'm gonna continue working on this and see how it turns out 
All right, here they are. This is the way they turned out. I like the way that they are decorated. I had a, little, I had a hard time with it, and I was, it's like your creativity just kind of some days is really there and some days not. Well, I just put them aside, walked off for a bit, and come back and start working on them, and I like the way they're done. Okay, this should be a relatively fast makeover. I bought this at a thrift store. It's metal. And I want a bird bath out in the back. So I'm going to just take some Waverly black paint and go around the edges, you know, to make it look like, what is that called? I can't remember what it's called. Anyways, you'll you'll know when I'm done. But anyways, I'm just going to take my black paint and just bounce around the edges and then do a few smears. Is it what is it, enamel? Enamelware? I think that might be what it is. And then I'll probably go find me an old milk can and put that on it. But I will put some rocks in the bottom and give my birds something to drink out of because. When the chickens were out there, I used to keep water for them, and they would come down and drink out of the chicken water. So now the chickens are in the coop, so I want to give them some water and put it underneath the bird feeder. All right, I'm going to continue on and go around the edges. I'm going to continue on and go all the way around with that and then just ever so often put a little mark like kind of like that when I get it finished I'll come back and show you that didn't take very long at all and I put a few imperfections in it or on it That's what it came out looking like. Now, gotta go find some way, something to put it on. All right, now I'm out in the garage again and trying to figure out a little shelf. And I think that's what I want. So I'm going to glue this and this and then nail them so it'll be good and secure and I'll show you where I'm going while you see that I'm going to try to get something to put that on and I'm not sure if I'm putting a clay pot in it or what but this is the start it's kind of how I start doing things and if it doesn't work out then I quit don't use it Okay, on this, I'm not really caring caring for the straight kind of gray. I like the old look of it, but not the straight gray. So I'm trying to do a little something to it. And I'm putting some streaks of white in here. Okay, and I put some on this. have to get up underneath here and I think I'm kind of gonna go in there with some black too I get my black kind of wipe out my brush because it's my chippy brush Come on. I'm just going to wipe this off. Okay, turn it around. Oh, 
kind of getting the black off a lot of it so it doesn't come off heavy. That's enough. That's enough on that. don't know what I need. Hmm. Maybe. Let's try a little bit. Now this is watered. I don't know if this will work or not. It is water. some brown in it. Okay, I'm going to leave it like that because that's better than the straight gray. And I still haven't figured out what I'm going to put on it. That down in my water. All right, when that dries, or while it's drying, I'm going to try to figure out just exactly what I want to do with it. If I want to put this little... Uh, here and what I would put in it, but I think I'm leaning. I've done me another candle. I think I'm leaning towards like, I'll have to get that on there, but I can't really tell what I'm doing from here. But I'm thinking I'm going to do this but I gotta do something down in here. I do, there, there was a little cap on the bottom of this that I can glue right here to stick the candle in, but I don't know if I just wanna leave it plain or what, but I'm gonna work on it and see what I want and how I'm gonna do it. All right, here's how it turned out. What I did down here is I used a little grapevine wreath and glued the little berries around it. And just took a piece of fabric and tied it up there with some more berries and wire for a hanger. And that's how that one turned out. That's how that one turned out. Now let's move on to the next project. Okay, here it is. I taped off all the glass. It's actually plastic, but that wasn't easy. But I got it all taped off, I hope. And now I am going to put a coat of, I didn't know whether to go black, but I know a lot of lanterns used to be red. So I thought I'd try this red. So before I go outside to do it, I'm gonna have to make up my mind whether it's black or red. But you'll see. This red is not, I'm gonna have to go see if I can get another one to, to work. It stopped working. Well, I went to black, because my red quit working. 
and I had two or three cans of it. Okay, we'll let that dry. Come out and give it a second coat. Well, as you know, I went from red that I had planned on to black because none of my red spray paint would work. So I have it black, and my plan with this now is to totally rust it up and make it look vintage and very rustic. So I'm going to start with the, uh, of course, cinnamon and my glue, and I'm going to rust this thing up. And you know, I can't remember if I said, but this is something my husband brought to me. It wasn't old. It's a, as you can see, I don't know if you can tell. It's just the little LED lights in here. But evidently somebody's going to toss it and he brought it to me because he knew I'd like it. Okay, I've got everything coated, I think, except for the handle. And I'm gonna take a brush and just kinda wipe the, the excess off. Lift that up. All right, to keep the uh, cinnamon from falling off and, and getting the end table or wherever you put it, you know, dusty with cinnamon. I did decide to go ahead and give it a coat of the matte finish. So I did tape up the globe on it the best I could. And I had started giving it a coat and this is a side I haven't done anything to. And this is a side that I've sprayed. So I'm gonna turn it around and finish this up. All right, here's how it turned out with the uh, spray, the clear spray on it. See how the black's coming through? And it's actually looking rusty. So what I think I'm gonna do is like take a spray of this here and wire it on there. And maybe take the homespun red fabric and make a bow and put on it. And I think that's probably all I'll do to this, but I'm telling you at Christmas time with some greenery on it, that's going to look pretty. Alright, I'm going to finish working on this and I'll show you when it's done. Okay, I'm holding this on because I put a little bit of hot glue right in here. I wasn't gonna hot glue the whole thing, but I put a little bit on there to hold it, and then I'm gonna take this wire and go in there and wire this on. Okay, here's the little lantern. And the way I decorated it. Well, I hope you all enjoyed the video, and if you're new to my channel, and you like all sorts of crafts, hit the subscribe button and the bell so you'll be notified when I post a new video. So until the next one, we'll see y'all later. Bye.